So we've been reporting for weeks. Providence is in the process of expanding the number of parking meters across the city and the hours which fees are collected. And now we've learned they're also working to make it easier to pay for parking. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright joins us now with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Instead of having to come right up to the parking meter to pay, soon you'll be able to pay from the comforts of your home just by using your phone. Right now, Westminster is the only street in Providence where you can pay to park with your cell phone. It's part of a pilot program that started four years ago. Come summertime, the pay-by-phone option will become permanent and expand to the rest of the city. I think it's going to help significantly. It gives people more choices, makes it more convenient. Here's how it works. You log on to a website or phone app, then put your name, credit card number, license plate number, and how much you want to pay. Parking enforcement officers will look up your license plate plate number on their handheld device and won't give you a ticket if you've already paid. I certainly think the pay by phone would make it logistically easier for the places in the city where it makes sense to have parking meters. I just don't think it makes sense to have parking meters here in Wicanda. Providence is raising revenue by adding 700 parking meters throughout the city, including some on Wickenden Street. Vincent Scorziello is worried his liquor store nearby will lose business. You can get flowers, you can get knickknacks, you can get whatever you need that's on the street you know, without paying for a parking meter somewhere else. So that's what that's what we're worried about. The city says it's working with merchants to reduce the impact on their businesses. It's also working out glitches with the pay by phone program. Some people reported paying with the app and still getting a ticket. There are occasions where uh, there's non-communication with the meter, but that's what a pilot is for. So as we move forward, we'll be able to introduce a, an application that works and is reliable. The city is still estimating the cost of the pay by phone program with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.